All right, go ahead. Hey everyone, Jordan Meyer here with the Mr. Lance Klesig. Uh, He's supposed to be interviewing me right now. Yeah, we're, we're gonna interview. I'll take over, Jordan. All right. All right, so we're here today to celebrate Jordan and his wife and dad, Lee. Yep. And uh, we're here at June Dairy Days right here on their farm in Caledonia, Minnesota. It's a really beautiful day. Um, so yeah, I guess we, we're here to celebrate dairy farming, but also the people that are involved with dairy farming and also your guys' journey into dairy farming because it's been a, a stepping you know, along. So yep. first of all, tell us a little bit about the history of the farm. You started in 1937? Yep, 1937. My great grandpa bought the farm and moved everybody out here. And yeah, I'm the fourth, I'm the third, fourth generation. Sorry, I don't know why I was thinking of that. But, um, yeah, my kids will be in fifth. And yeah, we milk about 140 cows. Yeah, we actually started diversifying a little bit here recently in the past four or five years. Um, my wife and I started Wholesome Family Farms where we do pastured pork, pastured poultry, and grass-fed raw milk. Yeah, it's been a lot of fun. We're really into the soil health journey now, and it's been a lot of fun and really exciting, but we're really happy to be able to host a dairy breakfast here and get all the consumers out here and get a little taste of the country and see the farm life a little bit. Yeah, it's really nice that we have all of these and stumpies here and yep. quick good, trip, we got the cow, yep. Yep. the Holstein cow, pancakes and the whole nine yards. It's, it's, it's been an awesome. awesome morning. Yeah, it's been a lot yep. of fun. Pretty cool to see all the people out here soaking it all in. So. Yeah. Literally the sun, soaking the sun in, yep. the farm life. Uh, so your family, tell us a little bit, it's you and your wife, Rochelle, yep. six kids, yep. one hatching. Yeah, one any day now. So. <laughs> All right, so we're going to transition and talk a little bit about, you, you mentioned you guys sell not only raw milk, A2A2 milk in your farm store. What offers some meats? Tell us a little bit more about the meats. Yeah, we, we have grass-fed beef, um, pastured pork, pastured poultry. Um, yeah, we try to do it all regeneratively, if you know what that means. It's building back soil. So yeah. all of our management that we do with all of our livestock is for the benefit of the soil because everything that starts from the soil is what you get afterwards. So if you have healthy soil, healthy plants, healthy people, and healthy communities, yeah. and that's what we're shooting for. Amen. And part of hosting June Dairy Days is bringing the community to your farm. Not only bringing customers to buy raw milk and meats, but also showing people what you're doing, having an open house. So, yep. um, but you guys also, you ran a couple nearby farms, right? Tell us a little bit about those those farms. Well, the one farm uh, we, we started out doing organic row crops on, and then we started learning more about the soil health and got into cover crops and tried tickling a little bit with the organic no-till and um, seeing a bunch of perennials starting to come in our stands and stuff and then figured you know what why not add the next principle of soil health and just throw the livestock out here and start grazing it and that's yep. what we did we, we were able to transition the whole farm to all grass and we, we graze uh, beef cattle on that farm now along with the other nearby farm that's at the mother-in-law's place over about three months so sure. yeah it's been a lot of fun doing that um, it's amazing what you can do to build soil back with grazing yeah and, and I think part of it's choosing to think differently. You guys are adaptively grazing. Uh, you know, Jordan and I are really good friends. Actually, I don't, you want, you want, can you hold this for a second? I, I put this on just for Jordan so I could match. You see, it says Wholesome Family Farms. And, and anyway, so, all right, now, now we're back to business. All right, all right. All right, so you guys ran a couple hundred Angus heifers or whatnot, custom grazing. You also do a bunch of goats, yep. like a few hundred. Yep. How many? Four hundred. 400 goats, mama goats. So, um, all right, so I guess from my vantage point, you know, we are really good friends. We talk multiple times a week, but Jordan and Rochelle are, are really doing a great example of merging third generation, your dad, with their family and kind of changing gears a little bit. You got the conventional dairy in a freestall. You got the grass fed or 100% grass fed Jersey herd, raw milk. Um, and I think you're also changing with the times, right? We're seeing lots of lots of dairy farmers are unfortunately having to dump milk. 
and that's a no that's not a good deal right but um, it is what it is and so diversifying like you've talked about uh, that's really an important step and, and, you know, I, and more and more consumers are wanting to know where their food comes from and stuff so anytime we can allow them to come visit the farm and see what's going on it's a win-win yeah yep farmer consumers families want to know more about their food right and they want to self-educate and so I think you guys have hosted open farms before on this much smaller scale, but um, it's a beautiful way to help people understand soil health, nutrient dense food. You guys raise it for your family, then you also sell it to people in the community. And I think that's beautiful. So um, I also share the passion for that. And that's partially how I think God wove our paths together, right? And uh, we have kind of a running joke as we slow down and chill out. We uh, we get to see God's creation. We get to experience it. And that's really a big part of a soil health, the principles of soil it health. Is. And so really we also have a mentor. His name is Ray Archuleta. We'll give him a shout out. The middle of his name says chill. So Jordan and I are both trying to chill a little more. So with that, Jordan, um, I'm just going to shake your hand and say, appreciate you, buddy. We're good friends. We're going to let him go because now Henry and I are going to take a little walk around the farm. Right. That's okay. That sounds good. All right. Thank you, sir. Take care. Have yep. fun. See you. All right. Henry, you ready? Mm-hmm. All right. So we're going to take a little tour of the Meyer farm here. All right. Jordan's kind of hanging in the background. That's okay. You got me? All right. We're going for a walk up to the freestall barn. All right. Let's look at the freestall barn. Yeah. What are, all right. So we're taking a walk. We got the parlor here on the left. Can you take a video of that? There's the parlor where all the cows get milked. All right, let's go. We're gonna keep on trucking. All right, let's turn over here to the right. What do we got over here? We got a corn bin, like a sandbox. People can play in the sand. Let's go find the calves. Hi, Henry. All right, look over here. Let's go in this corner. Holy buckets, look at we got. Holstein calves hang that put that phone right through there. Holy cats. Look at this one here. Hey little friend. These are probably little heifer calves. Yep. Now let's see some of the jerseys. Yeah, this is where their raw milk's gonna come from in a couple years, right? Alright, perfect. Let's go over here by basketball hoop and then we'll go up by the freestall barn. Alright, Henry's doing an awesome job. Back up here, Henry, so we can see it. Alright, so these boys here look like they're playing basketball in a, in a gravity box. Pretty fun. It's all, all part of June Dairy Days. Alright, let's walk around here. What do we got out here, Henry? Skid loader. Skid loader. We got some feed. We got greens. We got some pastures. Some alfalfa row crops. And look at here. Let's end right here, alright? I think this is an opportunity to learn how to milk a cow. I'm not going to, hold on right there, Henry. I'm not going to volunteer to do that. But again, we just want to kind of give you a taste of what um, dairy farming here in Minnesota, or it could be Wisconsin or Iowa, looks like in celebrating um, the farmers. And we are we are the people that feed all of you that are watching. And it's really a, a wonderful um, job. And it's a fun job. So with that, if you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Check out Jordan and Rochelle. They have a website. Wholesome Family Farms, and then also they have a YouTube channel. Uh, Jordan is the one who does most of that. So with that, thanks everyone. Have a great day.